Alright, this is just a video for um, Lime, like a release and uh, another update. And I'm just going to show some of the features of it because there's quite a few changes uh, since the last version that was released. Uh, I've had my surgery and uh, recovered from that. And then I've uh, spent the past few days just finishing some stuff up. Uh, main difference is that it's going to include Black Ops 1 support, uh, which I can just show now. So it's single player on uh, multiplayer. Actually, I might just show more than that. Just going to create a private match, change the map. This map suck. Just doing the right one. <laughs> okay, so start it. And it finds back ups because we've got it open. Uh, search will always go down there. I think I said that in the last video. Uh, you, if you press escape or enter, it won't close the dialog now. But if someone requested me to do that, so I've added that in. Uh, settings has the new hotkeys. Um, directory entries. Modern Warfare 2 is, ent is there's an entry for it, but it's not going to include Modern Warfare 2 support in this release. It'll be the next one. Uh, so list models 812. Just going to load them. I'll spawn in just for fun. Okay, um, there's also a new system tray message. Uh, so when we press E to export, it will come up with export selected. The name has been spotted. And um, once your mouse is over it, it won't close. Like if I take my mouse, it'll go away. And if you just leave it, uh, it'll go away by itself. But yeah, just basically clicking it will uh, open up the uh, export directory, wherever you've got that set. Same, it'll do the same when you export all. Uh, let's just find a model that's of some use. I'll just reach for that one. Um, another sort of semi major update, or a useful update, is now that the MA files include vertex colors. I did try to add it before, but the MA was just being retarded and didn't want to read them in. But I got it working now. So, so if you're using a model of the MA, it's already got white vertex colors. You'll no longer need to like select the mesh and then go color, apply color, make sure it's white, etc. That's already done for you. And obviously, models that have um, uh, alpha vertex weights will also be included in Maya. It's not just RGB. It uh, includes alpha in the uh, MA files via vertex colors. Uh, the log distance code has been updated because Black Ops 1 has some models that have higher logs, like higher distances on lower logs, some strange reason. So that could no longer happen for Black Ops 1, even though you don't notice that, notice that because Black Ops 1 support wasn't released. But yeah, um, the GD cache system, so this cache has been created. If I just delete that for now, and when we close it, the one was created for this, which has some new entries in it. Okay, let me just check. Oh, yeah, that would be because we probably didn't have uh, add to GGT as well. So if I export a few now, and then the GGT calls it to be created and it has the assets in. So this is created every time you close the program from these cache files. 
Yeah, you can manually run it just by clicking this batch file. You can't just click on that because it requires arguments to play. There's a log here that will tell you. So if your GGT is not being created for using it, it will just check this log file if you so wish. There's also a readme if you want to divulge into that. Um, updates. Oh, before uh, Lime has integrates like a, a memory system that it uses to get all the game's memory. Like it goes through like a system I made it, and when it detects like a bad read and stuff, it will like lock out the game's process, so Lime can never read from it. Uh, bef only in debug builds would I like notify you myself of this, so I can like, fix the problem. But in release builds, it will now notify you if there's a, a memory problem, which could result in uh, some problems. So it will tell you if there's a, a memory reading issue. Just say it like a, a bit like a dialog box. That come up. Uh, some loading bugs been fixed. So it shouldn't. If it was crashing, it shouldn't crash. If you are having crashing on Black Ops 2, uh, try to move GTX 5 Alpha. Up. I will fix that. Uh, Make sure that's fixed in the next update, but I haven't got time to beta test that before I go to London this weekend. Um, oh, yeah, some models in Black Ops 1 have more than 64 meshes per lod, which was, is quite ridiculous to us, but yeah, LAN can now cope with models that have more than 64 models per mesh, but it just won't load. More than 64, so I just load the first 64 messages and then ignore the other messages because the way I do model containers is like so in a way that will load really fast. And if I make it even 64, it's going to increase its memory footprint quite, quite a bit. Uh, so it's left at 64, which is fine. I think that's about it in terms of features. Uh, yeah, every time you open it, you should. Click this button and then, and then that one. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Um, Lime also has like a new running system which your antivirus might not like. Like, you see, it has Lime and then Lime sub. I close up, it like disappear. Basically, like it's like um, I made it so like it's just made like a quick sort of simple way of hiding the program. So like, um, it won't be like detectable as easily if uh, like an anti cheat or anything. But it's not been detected yet, but it just makes it harder and more and unique. So it's like different name and the application that's generated is uh, different each time. So it has like a different hashing and stuff. So like, it will look like a different program every time it's run. Except for module names, but they're, they're using other applications as well, so it really matter. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, Modern Warfare 2 support. Um, I will add in, start adding, like, I have like a private version of LAN and a non private version. The private version is like a console window, which I've used to like, develop code. And I've got to add in the Modern Warfare 2 stuff into these uh, modules before it releases, which I'll test like an hour or so. But then I'll have to like beta test it fully just to make sure. So Modern Warfare 2 stuff release will be like towards the end of the next week or four. Um, yeah. And then next animation is what I've got. I think that's it. I'm just sort of rounding one. And yeah, oh, spec maps. And the option to include all images with the export will be in an update next week. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it.